In this video, I will show you how you can create those cinematic black bars in DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. First, if you want to create a video that is permanently a different aspect ratio, I wouldn't consider the step that I'm teaching you today. Huh, Daniel, what? Okay, I'll show you this. If you want to create a video that is a different aspect ratio than the 16 by 9 that we normally have in YouTube, on TVs and everything, you want to create a cinema aspect ratio. What they do in Hollywood is they create a different aspect ratio. So you go right click here in and you start creating a new timeline. And if you say, I don't want to use my project settings, you can go here to format and change the settings here, right? I guess you're not here for that. That's why I'm now showing you how you can just add black bars. So what kind of aspect ratios are there? So I just Googled and the first image that came up. So it's not from me, it's from those guys there. Thank you for creating that. So if you go to Google and you look at this, you see there are different aspect ratios. 16 by nine is the aspect ratio that our camera is shooting that is the standard right now. Let's say for this video, we wanna create 2.35 by one. How can you do this? I have my video clip here in a normal 16 by nine aspect ratio. Click the clip and go to the inspector. And under inspector, if you scroll down, you can actually close all of those tabs here. So if you scroll down, you will see cropping. If you go into cropping, you can cut stuff away from your image and even from the top and from the bottom. So how much do we have to crop? Here in DaVinci, it works like this. For example, I have a 1920 by 1080 timeline. So if I go from the top all the way to the down, you will see 1080. So it's calculating the pixels that we have. If we want to create the 2.35 2 by 1, and you calculate this by the following. Go in your calculator and we say, okay, 1920, divided by 2.35. That gives us 817 pixels. So instead of 1080, it should only be 817. So that means we can now say 1080 minus those 817. This gives us 263 pixels. So in total, we have to lose 263 because we do it on the top and on the bottom. We divide that by two, that means 131 and now here on top, for example, I can say, okay, 131.5. And on bottom, 131.5. So now you have the black bars in, but let's say you wanna do it like Peter McKinnon and bring them in. How can you do this? For that, you, we can use keyframes. Let's say the video starts from the beginning and I want until now here that the black bars should come in. So I put a keyframe here and here. So on this position, we wanna have the end position. And now let's go back to the beginning and we just simply remove those here like this to zero. And if I hit play, you see that the black bars coming in. I hope you learned something in this video. So hit like if you're using DaVinci Resolve on your iPad and you wanna learn more about it, consider subscribing. I'm Daniel, see us in the next video. Bye.